So continuing now from intelligent design, I want to talk a little bit about this theology of the body that you see on page uh, 27, 28 of your book. Um, what does that mean? Well, appropriate here in Rome, uh, on Wednesdays of each week, uh, the Holy Father gives what's called a Wednesday audience. And when Pope John Paul II, now blessed John Paul II, who will be canonized a saint in December of this year, uh, gave his Wednesday audiences, for a time, uh, they all focus on what's called this theology of the body. So theology is the study of God. So the study of God through our body. Um, what is that about? Well, we can come to know God and how he's created us. Now, you probably all have heard the phrase that we are created in the image and the likeness of God. What does that mean? Well, we believe that God is one God in three divine persons, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now, if we're creating the image and likeness of God, then we also have to uh, reflect that image. So God is a reflection, and the reflection of God in us is, God is obviously a communion of persons. So we as human beings are also naturally meant to be in a communion of persons. Now, specific to the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who became man, notice that he was fully God and fully man. So he, he was fully spiritual, divine, and at the same time he's fully physical, earthly, human. As spiritual and divine, he was God. That's our soul. We reflect in our soul this divinity of God. As fully man, we reflect that in our own humanity as Jesus had become man. So just as Jesus was fully God and fully man, we reflect that image as body and soul in our human creation. Now, God gave himself completely to us. And specifically, Jesus gave himself completely to us through his death on the cross. It was a complete gift of himself. So the theology of the body is understanding that as humans, the most perfect way to love is to give ourselves completely. Now this puts a very different meaning on sexuality. Sex is not just a physical act, but rather the sexual act is meant to be this complete sharing and gift of yourself to specifically your spouse. If you're not married, you can't give yourself completely. Young people not married don't want children, so they can't be giving themselves completely to each other in that gift of love uh, that can be shared between a husband and a wife. So the theology of the body is the study of God through our body and how we reflect God in that. So I'm going to pause there and uh, come back for part three of this lecture.